stuff out there, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Hey, well, listen, congratulations. Hey, let's Good luck to that. Yeah, let's go. All right, well, you know we're going to rumble. Fun. You know there's going to be a rumble. No, that's right. You now just stand there and watch it. And the Eagles have it in their own hands. Win this game, and the home field is theirs. Giants fans are here, and they're going to be in full force, waving their white towels, trying to propel them into the playoffs. The Eagles have to be able to match that intensity. Man, come on, dog. Man, Dude, I'll tell you like it's our home field, baby. Win on three. One, two, three. In the packed Meadowlands, against a team with its playoff life at stake, the Eagles hope to jump on the Giants and set the tone. They did just that on their first series with a five-play touchdown drive, capped by a little razzle-dazzle. Max and I under formation. They go with a reverse, a double reverse. Thrash across the 25, the 20, the 15, the 10, the 5. Touchdown, James Thrash off a double reverse. And Sean Williams had him at the six-yard line, put his head down, and he did not wrap up to come close to it. What a great start for the offense. Stay on the gas, stay after these guys all day long. Stay after the rest now. Following the Eagles' lightning opening drive, the Giants unleashed a little lightning of their own as Tiki Barber rushed for a career-high 203 yards. Tiki wore out the Eagles and the chain gang. Move the chains, baby, what you waiting on? Come on, slap it. Come on, slap it. Move the chain. Kerry Collins broke Phil Simms' single-season team yardage record, and 10 catches by Jeremy Shockey kept the birds and that chain gang a step behind. But inside the 20, the sticks never moved as the Giants self-destructed. The handoff that fumbles the football. It's loose. The Eagles recover it. An end zone interception, two barber fumbles, two fumbled snaps, and a missed field goal ruined drives. Two touchdowns called back killed them. Touchdown! But it's coming back, folks. Another penalty on the Giants. It's the second penalty on a touchdown play. With their playoff hopes literally slipping through their fingers, Jeremy Shockey took matters into his own very tough hand. For Shockey, who makes a great catch at the 38. I don't know how he held on to the football. Shockey has what he wants, man-to-man -man coverage. Collins lobs it right, looking for Shockey, and he's got it for a touchdown! He took it right away from Dawkins! Now he goes up and just, it's a battle. What a man, what a great football player Jeremy Shockey is. Say what you want, he is a great football player. After clawing back to tie it, the Giants turned again to Tiki Barber with under five minutes left. Four down lineman for the Eagles, they give for Barber, gets a block from Seibert, up to the 20, and tackled at the 24, the ball popped loose. Philadelphia has the football. Barber was down, and he coughed it up for the third time today. Oh, you, got, you got to be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. One man's misery is another team's gain. A field goal was all Philadelphia needed. 35 yards to give the Eagles home field advantage throughout the playoffs. Come on, baby. Don't play for him, baby. The ball is spotted. The kick is away. It's no good! It's no good! Unthinkable. Unimaginable. Playoffs for the Giants, certain home field for the Eagles, sudden death would decide it. It's do it down three! One, two, three, do it After four quarters of tough breaks, the ball finally bounced New York's way. A hard-earned ticket to the playoffs now rested on the foot of Matt Bryant. Try a 39-yard field goal to put the Giants in the playoffs. Snap, spot, kick on its way. Plenty of leg, and it is good! Oh, my gosh! They don't believe it. The Giants are going to the playoffs. Matt Bryant from 39 yards out in overtime. Pandemonium at Giants Stadium. A 10-7 win over the Eagles. What a game for the fans, for the organization. Big, big, big victory.